Sisyphus. Sisyphus. I'm gonna have to. You're not. You're not gonna survive the centricide. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you can't. Uh, you can't say the way I'll see it, and then and then not tell me how you see it, though. How I think you see it. Yeah. Here's how. Oh, I think you're you telling see me. How, okay. Okay. Um, pitch black. Okay. That's what you see. Oh no! Am I, am I dead in this? Okay. No, no, you're blind. Oh, okay. You're blind, but there's a little light. Do you guys want some coffee? I'm not gonna answer that question. Sa- sai- 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 Have you ever heard the tale of the um, the uh, the the balls of syphilis? So here's how it goes. So there's this guy. He's called syphilis. He's got syphilis on his on his balls, and um, uh, he replaces his his balls with a um, with with new balls, uh, titanium balls. And now the question is, are they still his balls? Because I mean, they're attached to his body in all the same way that the balls would be. Um, and let's let's take it even further. What if the syphilis was a part of the of the shaft of the penis, um, and he grew up with that? I mean, then is it like th- does that mean there's an identification with the syphilis as part of the 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 penis? I mean, th- th- those are some interesting philosophical questions. How come you haven't yeah, been talking gonna, about that I'm, on your show? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to. My mom usually listens to this <laughs> podcast. <laughs>